Hey everybody, it's Fight Club Hubs here. Welcome to GVN Live Plus. This is where all of our cut content goes straight to YouTube. If you can't make it onto the main show, that includes anything from an editorial, an opinion piece, or a live review, which is what I'm about to do. I'm going to start off reviewing two games. One of them is Project Diva X for the PlayStation 4. The other is for the PC called Bombshell. We'll start off with Hatsune Miku's Project Diva X. This game just came out just a couple of weeks ago. And it is a music rhythm game. You pretty much build up a combo by hitting the buttons or swiping the sticks at the appropriate time. And the better the combo, the better the score, the better the score, the better the grade you get. Um, one of the things I really like about this is mainly the music itself. I actually started recently getting into Vocaloid music and Hatsune Miku as well. Uh, it's extremely catchy, it's very upbeat, it's really uh, enjoyable, and uh, the same can be said here in this game. Uh, I've enjoyed the previous entries in the series, which is F and F Second on the PlayStation 3. Uh, there are other games available, they're on the Vita and on the PSP, but I never played those. Uh, these are the first three games in the series that I've uh, been playing. Uh, the thing about Project Diva X is it introduces something new, which is a quest mode. You pretty much have to help the, the Vocaloids get their ability to sing back. Uh, they kind of lost it for some reason or another. They don't explain it. But uh, you pretty much help them perform, which in terms builds up voltage, which in turns helps fill up the prism. Once the prism is glowing, you are then presented, which is kind of like a boss stage, which is a, a medley piece, which is uh, comprised of multiple songs from past uh, entries in the series. Uh, those are quite enjoyable and fun. All the songs and difficulties are ex are pretty much fun. I really enjoy it. Uh, I don't feel any input delay whatsoever when I'm playing it. Of course, you do have the option of uh, checking your input delay. Uh, one of the things you can do as you progress through this quest mode is unlocking modules. That's kind of required in order for you to progress and unlock more songs. Uh, modules can actually help you by giving you bonuses uh, to build up your... Uh, voltage meter even faster or giving you bonus points as you uh you know reach a certain requirement in terms of like let's say a combo of let's say 200 or more notes uh other things i find enjoyable is that um once you unlock all of these songs you can go to the free play mode and you don't have to grind through all the difficulty levels in order to get to extreme uh, you can just straight up select extreme uh from the the get-go which is uh, something you couldn't do in previous uh, D.Va games where you actually had to play and grind through every single difficulty in order to get to the uh, the hardest one, which offers the most challenge, and um, that's kind of like the way I like it. Uh, some of the things I, w I really enjoy besides the, uh, the selection of music is actually the graphics. Uh, the game runs at a smooth 60 frames a second. Uh, it looks even better than it did on the PS3. The models are um, just nicely detailed and smoother looking in regards to just the amount of detail that's added to them uh overall i would have to say that uh, if you're looking for something new i would definitely recommend this game it is a niche title so that is probably something that's going to turn you off but i would say give it a shot uh, i was introduced to this earlier in the year and i've been hooked since it's definitely something i'd totally recommend so uh if you do pick up project diva x for the playstation 4. now my next game i'm going to be talking about is called bombshell for the pc cue that music uh bombshell is a run and gun uh action game kind of like a cross between diablo and let's say smash tv carnage or expendable if you're familiar with those three games. You pretty much uh, control this chick who has a robotic arm. That's not a ripoff in any way from the new Bionic Commando. Uh, and your job is pretty much to just go to this other uh, alien world and stop some mad scientist from actually destroying yours with the help of this alien race that's hell-bent on destroying other worlds because their world is slowly falling apart into uh, a sun that's nearby. The gameplay, um, again, is run and gun, but it has a whole lot of uh, different aspects to it. Like, you do have RPG elements where you can level up your character and uh, assign points to your armor, to your health, to uh, certain abilities to make them stronger or better. You have, you know, health items, you have speed uh, abilities, 
you have shields that you can use. Um, other things you have uh, are the is the ability to collect numerous types of weapons throughout the game as you play, and even upgrade those weapons with uh, new uh, abilities as you go. It's all very easy, and um, quite frankly, it's very accessible. Uh, another thing I like is pretty much just how well the game controls. Um, you can have the option of playing the game with a mouse and keyboard, but you can also play with the Xbox One controller, and oddly enough, I find it very comfortable to play it on an Xbox One controller. So, there there, there you go. You got a game that pretty much works for both crowds of uh, people. Um, in terms of gameplay, it's it's very simple. You run, and you, you run and you kill things, and you every now and then have to jump over a gap here and there. Uh, it's very simple, but it's, uh, oddly enough, it's very addicting. You do have um, some little issues here and there, though. Uh, one of the things that I have issues with is the uh, the lighting effects. Every now and then, you'll come to areas where the blooming is just insane, and it's taken to a really high scale, and it makes it, like, uh, kind of bothers my eyes a little bit. And there's also elements where, or there's moments where... You have those giant pillars or or structures that just obstruct your view, and the transparency uh, system does not work right away, or you have to be positioned in a certain place for the transparency to take effect, and sometimes it just uh, blocks your field of view and makes it kind of difficult to play. Uh, there are some minor glitches here and there, like if you kill a corpse, they start fidgeting and twitching all over the place, or sometimes enemies that are not designed to teleport they start teleporting all over the place, which makes no sense. There's all kinds of uh, really neat stuff that I do like about this game. However, uh, like I said, the uh, the leveling system and all that is, is pretty unique. There's all kinds of secrets to be had. There's uh, areas in the game that you can find which are called uh, challenge uh, quests, which pretty much you go in and you just take on a challenge of like destroying X number of enemies in a certain amount of time and whatnot and it's kind of fun. Uh, there are things that uh, I do find kind of corny uh, There are, in terms of the dialogue. Um, like one instance you talk to a guy and he pretty much mimics word for word uh, the opening uh, section of The Legend of Zelda. Pretty much it's dangerous to go alone, take this. And then when you unlock a specific door, your main character pretty much replies with, now I am the master of unlocking. But anyway, um, Bombshell is a really uh, enjoyable game. I actually enjoyed it quite a lot, and it's a lot of fun, and I definitely think you should try it out. It may not be for everybody, for those who like games that are a constant action and uh, like to explore, but definitely check it out when you have the chance. Uh, so there you go. Those are my two games that I uh, definitely recommend, Project Eve X for the PlayStation 4 and Bombshell for the PC. So uh, thank you for uh, tuning in for GVN Live Plus content. There'll be more to uh, come in the future. Thank you, and good night.